What up everybody, it's your boy, yours truly, number 41 in your program, Lo Neal, number one in your heart, and yours truly, the- What was the that flex? Don't, we're, we're flex, but okay, don't, okay, don't, but don't hate. I think you're showing off like a tattoo she or something. She hates, she hates. <laughs> and the- True Jones. Come on, True, get in the game. Don't hate, yeah. You, I see you getting swole. She's always, <laughs> True's always hating on Lolo. But you know what? That's enough about me. Let's get into this, this, this bay. Let's talk about, let's get We're into in the bay. Let's get in the bay. Let's get into the, well, the, 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 the bay. First you know? of all, first all right. of all, I just have to know. Who do you like better this year? The Niners or the Raiders? Drew, people are gonna think I'm crazy, but I can see people are like, hello, oh, you're being a homer, you don't want, no. I can see both these teams making it to the playoffs this year. Why? I think the Raiders and the Niners, I think they run the same type of blueprint. The Raiders and the Niners, they're so similar. They got a great running game, the quarterback doesn't hold the ball long, and they're winning with defense. If you look at the Raiders, what they were able to do two weeks ago, they go into Indianapolis and take on Jacoby Ford and that quarterback and a Colts team that has some great offensive linemen, first rounders, three first rounders that are role graders that beat people up. That offensive line is tough. Ask the Kansas City Chief who was undefeated until Sunday night. Mm -hmm. And the Indianapolis Colts went on the road, went into Kansas City and just blurred it up, just beat them up, ran the ball down their throat. It was nothing the Chiefs could do to stop the Indianapolis Colts. And you know what? And everyone's talking about, I listened to the Sunday night game with Al Michaels and Everyone knows Chris Collinsworth, mm -hmm. and they were just praising this offensive line, how tough they were, and how mean this Indianapolis Colts line. The Raiders went into Indy and beat that offensive line up, ran the ball down their throat, were more physical, punched them in the mouth, and dominated. If you look at the Raiders win, and then they go to London in a hostile environment mm -hmm. where the Bears and Khalil Mack, and where there was yeah. a lot of revenge, and the Raiders went there and smacked them. Yeah. The Raiders two wins. Indianapolis and the Bears, I think two playoff teams. That proved teams. to you. That proved to me that, that the Raiders are for real. They're playoff contenders for an injury. And the great thing about it, they're not asking Derek Carr to go out and throw the ball for 500 yards. He's throwing for 190 to 300 yards. He's keeping well, it What do you think of their receiving for? Because they were supposed to have Antonio Brown, yeah. but you still think they're playoff contenders yeah, I, I, without him? Yes, because you know what? Everybody's stepping up, just like the Niners. The Niners don't have a true number one. The Raiders don't have a true number one receiver. Right. They don't, look at look at the Browns. They have Odell Beckham, but what does that pay? You paid all that money, gave up all that trap value, but what has it shown? If you got someone, the guys loud that are- Loudmouth QB, obviously. It's, anyway, continue. No, no, very loudmouth <laughs> and Baker Mayfield. We'll get to that later. But you just look at the Raiders, the way that they're playing. John Gruden, I got to tip my hat to him. I was on John Gruden, thought that it was a horrible trade by Cleo Mack and Amari Cooper, mm -hmm. all those things. But now if you look what they're able to do, and this Josh Jacobs, this running back, I think he's going to be up for rookie of the year. Mm -hmm. They're physical, they get downhill, and their defensive front, they can got guys that play, they stay in their lane, they're disciplined. Mm -hmm. I think the Raiders is our playoff teams. They're, if the playoffs will start today, the Raiders will be in the playoffs. Why do you think they'll play against Kansas City next time around? Because they're going to go into Kansas City's house um, later, I think, in the, I, later I think, in the when they look at Kansas City, that game was over in one quarter, the first quarter. After that, Kansas City didn't score again. The Raiders played okay. They they threw in the end zone. They threw an interception. Carr threw a, it was a run, and he checked into a pass, threw an interception. That's a different game. Mm -hmm. The Raiders had opportunities to make that game a lot closer. I think that game is more. It was it's a learning lesson. It was a more. learning lesson, but I think that they've gotten better. I think that this team is competing better. Gruden now is saying, hey, look, we're going to be more physical. They got one of the better offensive alignments in football. If you look at uh, Incognito, you look at getting Gabe Jackson back. They got Rodney Hudson, Pro Bowl. They got three guys that are molars, and then they went out and got Brown. The offensive tackle played with the Patriots, won a Super Bowl. That right. offensive line is tough, they're physical, and they protect cars. So right. anytime yeah. you don't, you protect your quarterback and you can run the ball and you play solid defense, you have a chance. So that's why I believe that the Raiders are a playoff team, and I'm not just saying that. They have the talent, and right now they have the physical toughness. That's what I love about the Bay. The Bay, in my opinion, have two of the most physical teams in the National Football League. Mark it, write it down. These two Bay Area teams, the, the Niners and the Raiders, 
two of the most physical teams in NFL. Everyone else wants to play basketball on the grass. They want to throw the ball 40, 50 like times. And you can't win. It's not sustainable. Right. Look at the Rams now. The Rams can't mm -hmm. get it going. Look at Kansas City because you got to have some type of running game to keep the defense honest. Mm -hmm. And that's what the Niners last night, the other night, 250 some yards rushing. They're, they have almost 800 yards, over 800, they're averaging 200 yards rushing a game. This is mm -hmm. the first time since 1959. Well, they're, they're just being physical. They're not they're trying physical. to trick the defense no and trick throw like flea flicker plays or anything like that. Look at you, you know. Miss Drew. Drew. Oh, yeah, I know what I'm talking they're about. They're getting Maybe downhill. I don't know what I'm okay. talking about. And uh, fun fact, when the Raiders finally mm. come back home in November, they won't be playing on dirt anymore. No dirt. It'll be all grass, baby. All grass. Remember those dirt days? Oh, my God. My arms would just be all white from this falling on that gravel and just oh. scrape. You hated playing here. That oh, place was, sorry. you don't want to fall in there. You don't want to fall there. Yeah. You don't want to fall there. You don't want to do it. Don't want to do it. All right, well, what else? What else you got for me? Well, I, I, well I, I just think that, the Bay Area yeah, Well, I just think that these two Bay Area teams, Niners and Raider fans, you should be happy. I really believe that you. I think be. Niners fans are very happy considering the season they had last year. Now they're four and zero. Well, I so. think the Raider fans are very happy considering the season they had last year too. The last two seasons. So it's been bad yeah. for both these teams mm -hmm. the last two seasons, and I think that both these two teams they've been able to to turn it around, and, and now they're both physical. And you look at both teams and you say, well, who's a better team? I think the jury's still out because if you look at the Raiders, the Raiders have had a tougher schedule than the Niners. They played more tough physical teams. They played mm -hmm. better teams. Breaking news, breaking news. You guys wanna hear it first? Drew was hating on me because I gave her the guns, right? She's hating, looking at this body. <laughs> Kyle Huszczyk goes down, which I love. The best fullback in the NFL. The Niners run a lot of eye back. They run a lot of two backs. I'm thinking about coming out of retirement. So really? John Lynch, if you're looking, so this is a good piece. So I want you to be, I mean. Seriously. I, I think that Niners, Cal, I mean, Cal Shanahan, if you need me, Low Neal. You've been working out with T.O.? And T.O., he looks good, Hall too. Hall of Famer. Y'all are Hall of Famer. So the two old men might want to come back in the game. So I'm just saying, if you need me for one game, I can't give you more than one. That's Cal, it? That's what yeah, I got in you? Because if Cal Hughes checks us out for a week, or you need me for two weeks, maybe, after that, I'm done. So if you guys want me. So now the Niners are really a playoff contending team. <laughs> Boom. Just like that. <laughs> you got this dialed up.